All right, let's do some Tong Ren for shoulders. We start always with cleaning out. Triple warmer 16, 17, 20. Cleaning out the detritus, cleaning out everything you don't need. Getting in all the nooks and crannies. Triple warmer 16, 17, and 20. And let's get the neurological system going, the nervous system. GV20, master point to the brain, right at the crown of the head. Get the uh, head office awake and running. Insular cortex, Tom's Island. Right and left are integrated. So your right hand and your left hand know what each other's doing. And neocortex, gallbladder seven, eight, nine. Both sides. And while we're here, we're going to get the motor cortex going. This is the master switch for all the muscles. Muscle activity. GV21. And hand in hand, GV19, the sensory cortex. So this actually helps you remember movements that you make as well as get all the sensations that you have. And down to GV17, deep, deep circulation. This is back in the brain stem. Deep circulation happening pristinely blood flow, respiration, and neurological flow. And let's open up all the communication between the head and the body. C1, C2, right at the base of the skull where the um, neck meets the head. C1, C2, area that often gets jammed up. All the way down to C7. And while we're here, we're going to just do a little C7, T1, T2, and T3, opening up the upper back, also anti-inflammatory points, and really good points for arthritis. C7 is a point for bones. And let's not forget Tian Dong, neck and shoulders. Another transition area that often gets tense and tight and impedes good circulation. And opening the neck from the front, stomach 11 and 12, right above your collarbone, the base of your throat. Large intestine 17, 18. It has the added bonus of activating the vagus nerve. Small intestine, 16, 17, sky window. Deep neck muscles are released and relaxed. Okay. And let's go back a little. C7, T1, 2, 3, reiterating all the arthritis all the anti-inflammatory, and opening the upper torso, which helps to free up the shoulder girdle. And we'll do the ouch point here, shoulders, all the way around the shoulder joint, back, top, front, and side, all, all the ouch points, all the way around, both sides, back, top, side and front, bringing energy and circulation into the shoulders. And a little more Tian Dong, loosening the neck. Let's just reiterate all the neck areas, C1, C2, C3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. All the neck vertebrae, all those muscles relaxed. We're going to continue on down the whole spine. T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 
opening up the whole rib cage from the back opening up tight muscles to free up neurological um, communication to all areas of the body. T7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all GI uh, and torso organs are well fed, well served, and muscles along the spine released and relaxed. L1, 2, 3, opening the lower back. 4 and 5, this low back that works so hard to keep us upright. And L5, S1, the juncture, another transition point between the spine and the sacrum. All the way down to bladder 40 behind the knees. Some people call this bladder 54. This helps the tension from the back just drain out and drain away. And while we're here, let's just do a little bit for the front, a little CV-17 in the center of the chest. Just bringing energy to the upper burner. CV-12 above the stomach. Energy to the middle burner. All parts are being energized. A little CV six and four below the waist on the torso, uh, reinforcing deep batteries. All the way down to stomach 36, leg three miles, stamina. Spleen six down by the ankles. Liver three on the feet sinking all this energy down to the feet and kidney one bubbling spring on the bottom of the feet may you be nourished from below as you are nourished from above and upper middle lower all parts stitched together in one beautiful brocade thank you that's it